I fell in love with mathematics when I was about 12 or 13, when a maths teacher at my school started to show me mathematics that were sort of outside the curriculum, but mathematics that kind of related to the world around me. And he kind of revealed that mathematics is this incredible language that just helps you to understand how the universe works. And I think for me, that was what I thought was so cool to see that this was nature's language. And so I felt it was like kind of a secret code, which helped me to understand um, everything that happens um, in the universe. I think mathematics is really relevant to our modern age because the huge amount of technology that we're creating, the scientific advances, because mathematics is kind of the the language of science. If you understand this language, then it gives you a real power to understand these new technologies, make your own technologies. So, so I think this is really an age where being mathematically literate is going to give you real power. I think the teaching of mathematics is going to be really affected, for example, by the impact of artificial intelligence. Uh, in fact, I think the whole of education is going to be. So uh, I think that we're going to see this as a, a really important new partner for a teacher in teaching students. Those that are really uh, going fast can use the technology to, to really speed ahead without having to wait for the teacher. Um, there's something interesting about mathematics because it's a very, it's like building a pyramid. And so in some sense, we will always be teaching our students the mathematics of the past and then adding to that the mathematics that we're going to discover in the future. I think many people don't realize that being a mathematician is actually um, involves a lot of creativity and intuition and imagination. Um, I think that they, many people just think we're cranking a handle and doing lots of calculations and you know, why can't a computer do that? But actually for me, a mathematician is a storyteller. We're telling stories, but our characters are numbers and geometry. And, you know, because it's about creativity and imagination, uh, to stimulate that in our students, um, that's quite a challenge. And that's why I think that it's really important that students don't just do maths, but they expose themselves to other creative practices, whether it be music or theater or visuals, that those are actually really helpful in stimulating a creative mind that will be a good mathematician, um, uh, as much as all the technical side of doing mathematics. One of the challenges in communicating mathematics to the public is that it, it is often quite a difficult subject with complex ideas. And so you have to find kind of innovative ways to connect with an audience that doesn't have this technical language. Um, so me often, for me, that's often about finding um, something that they enjoy like music and then revealing that often there are mathematical structures hiding inside that music or technology that they enjoy. One of the things which I think it's important if you're thinking about studying mathematics is to understand it's not just what's in the curriculum. Up to about 16, you've been learning very technical things. Um, and for me, it's a little bit like the way somebody learns a musical instrument. They have to learn their scales and arpeggios. But actually, there's real music there. And I think one of the things a 16 year old perhaps hasn't seen is the kind of uh, the beautiful side of mathematics. Mathematics is about the big stories, not the, the grammar of the subject. And, and that's uh, what you're beginning to learn when you go to university.